Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Resurrection Remix ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. This time I'm going to show you guys how to install the ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got of course to download the Resurrection Remix ROM for of course the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100 and unfortunately according to their website and their thread on the XDA developers uh, forum there isn't exactly a direct link you've got to download it via torrents so that's not really a problem it's roughly about the download file size is roughly about 300 megabytes if I'm not mistaken and all you have to do is download the torrent file and download it via uTorrent or via your favorite uh, torrent application. Anyway, so you're looking at right now is the website of Resurrection Remix. It's resurrectionremix.com. Don't worry about the download link. I'll be providing it in the, in the video description below and in the official guide. So first things first, once you've done downloading the Resurrection Remix um, ROM or the file itself, it's a zip file of course, uh, you have got to of course uh, plug it into your computer so you get your micro USB over here and plug it into your GDI9100 the Samsung Galaxy S2 and once it's connected as you can see it's installing device drivers again uh, I've got Samsung keys installed just for the Samsung drivers just in case anything you know messes up I've got the right official drivers installed and as you can see the device is ready to use so you're gonna open it open up open it up sorry <laughs> And we're going to put it in the SD card as usual. It's my favorite was place to store uh, ROM files. And as you can see, here's the file on the desktop. It's roughly about 350 or 342 to be exact megabytes. So uh, we're going to paste it here into the SD card. Give it a few I minute, mean, a few seconds. Actually, give it 30 second stops, and it should be done. Um, copying. Uh, this time it doesn't look like it's got any um, G apps. You know, the, usually when you're getting when you're using a ROM, you usually have to install the ROM, and after afterwards you have to install G apps. For perhaps it's the G apps is included in this ROM, and this is an AOKP ROM compared to an AOSP ROM, as it includes several different tweaks and additions to the ROM itself. So once you fully transfer the ROM to the SD card or to the internal storage of your Samsung Galaxy S2, the next step is to of course remove the micro USB cable obviously. And we're going to turn off the device, fully turn it off, and we're going to head into recovery mode and we're going to do a complete wipe partition and wipe partition cache prior to installing the Resurrection Remix ROM. We do this because we're coming from a different platform and ROM and at times there will be some issues, some conflict, uh, some conflicts will tend to arise between the two different ROMs. Anyway, so it's fully off right now to head into recovery mode. All you have to do is to press volume up, the home button and the power button all at once for at least uh, 10 seconds and your screen should flash twice. The boot screen, as you can see, that's the first flash and the second flash is about to commence. There you go, so you can let go now and it should be automatically be rolling into recovery mode. And it's using the CWM base recovery as I came from the Super Nexus uh, ROM. So again, do a wipe data factory reset. And we're gonna do a wipe cache partition just to be safe. Just to be safe, what's safe? Safe. Anyway, so that's all done. So install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And we're gonna choose our RJB version 3.1.3, AOKP 4.2.1, INN100. Install it. This is the latest Resurrection Remix um, uh, ROM available. It was released sometime last January, I believe, and I think they're working on another version right now. So give this a minute or two, depending on how long it's gonna take. Ooh, look at that, there's a jelly bean 
Sorry about that. You can see it. There's a jelly bean. Ooh, and look at that. The Resurrect, Resurrection Remix logo. Okay, so I forgot to mention that, yes, don't give it a minute or two. This includes the Aroma Installer, which will ease things out. I've experienced this before with, I believe it was the... Um, I believe it was a Slim Bean Rome, which I had the Resurrect, uh, the, sorry, the Aroma Installer. I'm not so sure anymore. I can't recall because I've tested so many Roms. Anyway, so this is a custom installer. So we're going to click Next. We're going to do a custom installation. It's recommended. And we can choose the different type of kernel and modem. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to install the Dory Man X and the LPX modem. Okay, it's on default, I guess. So click Next. It's, going to, it's included, the JB, the Jelly Bean Apps, next. Mm, there are other options such as inverted apps and red holo team. I'm going to skip that. Select launcher. Mm, I'm going to go for Nova launcher. Click next. Can we choose both? Yeah, we can choose both. Let's just, let's just have the Nova. What happens if we choose? Yeah, okay, let's leave it on both. You can choose none if you wish. Next. Mm. Um, okay, Walkman, Sony Music App. Okay. Did I click next? All right. This wizard is ready to begin installation. Press install now to begin the installation. If you want to review or change. All right, so install. All right, so this will probably take some time tops maybe two to five minutes so I'll be back once it's done installing so that was pretty quick it only took less than a minute so I'm gonna click next so it says no before you reboot the device you select that of course we've got to do another wipe cache sorry we've got to do another wipe partition and wipe cache and do a wipe delta cache fix permissions etc so we're gonna click finish so remember to uncheck reboot your device now so we should be heading back to the recovery. Yep, here we are, we're back in recovery mode. Go back and we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset again, just to be sure. It is extremely clean and there won't be any issues at all. So wipe cache partition. Okay, we're gonna head over to the advanced menu now. And we're gonna do wipe Delvic cache. And fix per missions and that's basically about it let's go back to the main menu and reboot system now so this will probably take two minutes two to five minutes again and as this is the first first initial boot so let's check out the boot up screen check it out Dory Manx kernel There is Resurrection Remix, a very, very cool boot up sequence from Resurrection Remix. So give this a minute or two and it should be loaded up to the f to do the Android Jelly Bean. So I'll be back once it's loaded up. So hey again, it's finally done uh, booting up and we're here greeted with the startup screen. I mean the welcome screen, <laughs> setup screen. Anyway, so we're going to choose the United States. And we're going to skip the Wi-Fi part, so we can always do that later on. No, I don't want to set up a Google account. No, not now. Next, next. Oh, of course, I will set it, set it up later on. Click next, finish. And we should be presented with the Resurrection Remix uh, Roam. So right now we can choose which launcher. I'm going to go for the Nova launcher. Oops, there it is. Launcher. I think I accidentally pressed it twice. Anyway, ooh, look at that. This is the Nova Launcher. I pretty like this one. You can, of course, change around the uh, uh, icons, default icons down here. I forgot what this is called, actually. But anyway, we're here in our home screen. And check out the transitions. We've got the app drawer here. And the... Uh, dozens of uh, widgets, some of which are from the Resurrection Remix. 
got uh, of course the the short notification shortcuts over here you can enable AOKP statistics if you wish uh, let's check out the settings pretty quickly it should be running on 4.2.1 yep 4.2.1 it's on the AOKP it's using the Dory Man X kernel and is build number 3.1.3 .3 of Resurrection Remix and it's using that particular baseband version so we can check out of course the resurrection settings which is quite extensive there's so many things you can change here including kernel and performance of course you've got to grant it so you can play around with I believe it's underclocking and overclocking your CPU voltage here which I don't recommend which can actually destroy your phone and I don't recommend that at all and I, I still like to I would still like to use my S2 for the next coming year so that's basically about it this is the resurrection remix installation guide and I'll have an in-depth look of of the ROM itself in a few days time and I'll be hopefully be providing a review for you guys out there so if you've got any questions any queries in regards to the ROM itself or if you've got any suggestions in which ROM you would like me to review or to check out feel free to post in the comments section below so don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to WiredMash and visit WiredMash.com. Of course, that's where I'll be posting the full guide to this installation guide. And I have other installation guides there on the WiredMash.com website. And most of all, thanks for watching.